Julian Burton is back deep for Missouri State. Mike Meyer getting ready to kick off for the Hawkeyes. They will go to one knee, and that means Kiara Harris will. Slick quarterback. He can run deceptively fast and also can control this offense in good fashion. And Heron, Harris wants to throw it right away. The catch is made. It is a short one off to the left. On second down, they try the middle. It is Vernon Scott, the senior from the state of Oklahoma. Big third down situation here, Steve. And we have flagged somebody was offside. Harris has to hold on to the football at the 10-yard line. A little early. Offside. Defense. Number 90. Five-yard penalty. Results in a first down. Costly penalty. It will give Harris and the Bears first down at the 36-yard line. They run that spread offense, and Harris has time. Going deep. Has a man out there, and it is incomplete. Four-man front being shown by Iowa. And they give him good protection. Throw underneath to Buford, and Buford very close to a first down. May have it. Seven. Seven straight losses for the Hawkeyes. Vernon Scott. Hitchens had 13 tackles last week, 124 last year. The pass is incomplete. No Jalen concerned. He knows Iowa might blitz, and yes, they will. They bring Morris from the inside. It's thrown over the middle and almost intercepted. The boot from Chris Sullins. He's going to call for the fair catch at the 12. And Outside greats up there like Chuck Long and Chuck Hartley <laughs> and Brad Banks. That tells you something about this young man. He has a bright future. Just has to right the ship just a little bit. Here's the run by Damon Bullock. Yards rushing against a good defense in Northern Illinois last week. Rudolph. He will run. And out past the 16-yard. Martin Manley is in the slot. It is third down and about five. And they fire it to the right, and it is incomplete. The punt. Warren Graff to Burton. It takes a Hawkeye bounce and will roll near the 37. Three of the top linebackers, not only in the league, but in the nation as a trio. They will run Vernon Scott to the left. Short game where he is knocked down. Sarah Harris spreading everybody out. Four-man rush by Iowa. And the catch is dropped by Biden. And putting themselves in a position to get a, a large game. Tanner Miller was showing blitz for a moment. Now Hitchens comes, and he will be blitzing. And they throw over the middle. It is incomplete. Intended route outside. Cavante Martin Manley waiting near his 21. And it is a short kick that bounces out of bounds near the 29-yard line. You in Iowa City, Missouri State, and the Iowa Hawkeyes. Mark Weissman with his first carry, a short kick. Anthony Grady, the defensive end, loses his helmet and has to come out for a play. Weissman, big hole. He's past midfield to the 46-yard line. Field tackle by number 31 on the defense. Really did a nice job there, saving a touchdown. Good short tackler in the back end. Only a junior. Play action, and they send it out to their big tight end who gets the first down. Core, and they're going with the no huddle, fast-paced offense here. So Bullock gets the carry. Sideline, he goes to the 20. Very physical front line with four returning starters. And now the big heavy back, Mark Weissman. And good push up front helps him. Missouri State showing blitz. Iowa will run. Weissman cut down at the 15. And two touchdowns. Exactly. Rudolph flips it to the right. Martin Manley. 
experience. This is the first offense that he's actually had to truly learn in game and game uh, speed. They're looking to Manley. No, they swing it to the tight end. They do get the first down. Now played basketball with a defender for a play. They'll run the football. Weissman straightened up at the five-yard line. Great and end goal. Weissman remains the running back. Rudock, play action. He'll run. Has some room. Sprints to the sideline and dives in for the touchdown. Jake be nimble, Jake be quick. Gets on to the right side. Nice job, great footwork by the sophomore quarterback. Second rushing touchdown of the season for him. Recognizing the void in the defense, still kept the pass option available until crossing the line of scrimmage, ducking in, tucking it away for the touchdown. Really good decision because you can tell when he sprinted to the right, he still had that option to pass, and then he decided to run and hurdle the tackler to get into the end zone. So Iowa will now take a 7 0 lead on Myers' point after. His presence and understanding of the defense tucks it, gives the run pass option again, then tucks it again for the touchdown. Cooper Fall is the new running back, and he will have a short gain at second and eight. Play action. Harris downfield. Incomplete. Intended for Julian Burton. Has the athletic ability of Kiara Harris and want to make sure he doesn't tuck the ball in and run too much. Incomplete. And they're holding, holding. offense. Number 72. Penalty declined. Brings up fourth down. Punt. Costly fake punt against the Hawkeyes late in the game. They have to be aware of that. Sullen's trying to kick it away from Martin Manley, but he does call for the fair catch. This is the very speedy Damon Powell, the junior from Toledo. Oh, the block that long. long. Offense number 46. 10 yard penalty. Replay first down. Passing situation for Rudock. He is three for four early for 29 yards. And he will go the short way again to Kanzeri, the sophomore from Troy, New York. And Rudock last week, first kid that had never played college football before. Good things have come so far. They try the middle. And Kanzeri with a good gain up past the 30. Situation Kanzeri had not played as well. Rudock. Great job of avoiding the sack, and he'll get the first down and plenty more. Youngster 29. I wonder if he's going to get the ball here on first down. Power back. Instead, play action. Rudolph dumps it off. And down to the 42-yard line is making receivers. Now we get our first look at Daniels, and he gets the first down. Right tackle senior sticking on their blocks. And there's a flag going early. A hurry up offense, and there's a difference between the two. Third penalty for 20 yards. First and 15 on play action. Plenty of time for Rudolph. Dumps it off left. Damon Bullock is hauled down after. Candidate. a little bit offside penalty or a legal procedure from shotgun blitz on Rudock steps up and cannot escape come on they will go with the punt and Cornbrath is able to hit it inside Harris wants to run the football and that is Cooper fall and no athletic gifted kid in the trenches Burton with the catch and another short gain. It will be third down. Only score in the game. And Harris, the quarterback for Missouri State, has a third down and six. He fires right. That's his first completion after six straight incompletions. And it results in a... There's as well recognizing that blitz. He was able to complete the screen pass before that completion. Now he, Harris tries it himself. He gets up near the 30-yard line. That situation, the quarterback to go sideways. Cooper falls again with no gain. 
Got to be careful in how you blitz and how often you do that. They rush just four. They throw over the middle. And Morris with a terrific. And odd spacing. And Sullins gets it off. Martin Manley waiting for the kick, but is another short kick and not a good leadership retreats and is involved in the Hawkeye readers in which players visit elementary schools and read to the children. You talk about a great guy. It is Brett Van Sloot, the right tackle here. Second and two. Leader. Well, you read about him, and you go, he might be president of the United States. Mark Very Weissman. close to a first down. It's Mark Weissman. Hayden Fry, always solid up front. And his son was a center for the Hawkeyes, and they're going to go right back to Weissman. Posing your will upon the defense. LaShawn Daniels, left side, cuts back in, first down and more to the 35-yard line. Helmet on helmet. After four straight runs, they go back to the air. Rudock gets the short catch, and it is a complete left side to LaShawn Daniels with a little more room. And they have a, well, now they have a man in motion going back left is Fedora, which they give it to Daniels, and he will get the first down as his lead got him to. And lead blocker. Weissman back in the game. He's the junior from Buffalo Grove, Illinois. They'll pass. And Rudolph completes it up close to a first down. I believe they'll need a yard. For the young freshman Vandenberg, going from a possible gray shirt situation to playing here on Saturday. So they go right back to him, and he gets the first down. You know what? What a blessing. In position by the spring of his freshman year, and then had a successful career. Had to battle some injuries, but we got their backs against the wall. Let's keep the pressure on. So he has to do a better job in calling the signal. Weissman gets about five, and he got the last three on his own. And they haven't gone to him yet. Well, they think of it here. And getting sacked from the backside is Jake Rudock. Of your screen. Rudock steps up, looks. Now he'll dump it off, and it's incomplete. And the play calling makes sure the communication is better. This is Myers. It is no good. He was 34 for 39 inside the rushing the football against Iowa. Only nine yards total rushing on seven carries, so they'll go to the air. And Buford with his second catch comes up shy of the... So no big plays in running or passing so far for the Bears. They sweep to the right side and will get the first down or very close as Vernon Scott leaped in the air. Nice job sniffing out that first down. Harris wants to run. He will come up minus one on this one. This can make the play. Anthony Hitchens on the stop as well. And how about that offensive look? Twin receivers right behind each other. Matty Johnson on Gannon Sinclair is the tight end number 19. Scott escapes one. Gains two. Fumble on the play. It's Iowa football. Nice. Desmond King, the true freshman, making his first college start. Excellent job getting under there. You see a little bit too much dancing on the dance floor there by the running back. And when you try to shift and maneuver in the trenches right there, there's going to be a guy stripped by James Morris, number 44. Get your hand in on, on the ball, and nice job of the recovery by Desmond King. Weissman, a gain of four. Those extra yards calculate up. Weissman again, only a yard, so it'll be third down in about Full. The backfield now, very versatile running back, can catch the ball very well out of the backfield. Opens up a lot of opportunities for him. They swing it out to the tight end, and Doozy is cut down. A first and goal inside the 10, and then the offsides, and then the sack. Well, they wanted the Hawkeyes to go for it on this fourth down situation. 
and you're going to have a delay of game penalty. Really not a penalty in this situation because all you're doing is giving your punter. Five-yard penalty remains fourth down. Giving your punt short and extend the drop. Burton awaiting the punt. He was all M Missouri Valley Conference last year, and he will take the fair catch at the 10-yard line. It's delayed again. Missouri State first down at their own 10. Oh, what a hit by Anthony Hitchens. They drive the middle, and Hitchens is there again. Wow. Will Smith. Down situation. If the Bears do not get the first down, the Hawks will call that last timeout. Use those, those tight end, uh, timeouts on defense because you can always spike the ball on offense. Missouri State going to run. There's Hitchens again. He came from the middle. Special teams. They rushed. They almost got to him. Martin Manley calls for the fair catch near the 38. Though this drop to the air. Incomplete. That's the second time to go to Martin Manley as a receiver. Remember, nine catches last week. Rudolph dumps it off nicely. First down, Iowa. From midfield, Missouri State showing blitz. They got to Rudolph. He loops it up, and he got hit by him today. Offense, number 70. 10-yard penalty. Replay first down. Established some real estate in the Hawkeye backfield multiple times in this game. That's another drop this time by the speedster. Dad, could you bring my lunch? I forgot it. They don't call me. They call mom because <laughs> I'll say no. There you go. How about that dart? Except another drop. He wanted the uh, third down. Rudolph. Downfield he goes. Completes the pass. It will be. Did they say it was incomplete? Uh, I thought. Cotton. He'll go to one knee. They keep it on the ground with Mark Weissman. They will to open the second half, and Weissman slashes for about six. Front left tackle, Brandon Scherf. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. This is the backup's free safety penalty right there. They'll go back to Weissman on the right side. No gain. This time it's Dill. It's a running formation, but they're going to throw out of it. And they complete the pass to Don Shumpert, who had two drops. Like they're going to run the football here. They give it to Weissman. He slams forward and gets the first down and more. Weissman past the 20 inside the 15. Walking on the outside, same roof formation just running into the opposite side a gain of 35 yards for Mike Weissman and now they have a different formation on the second down doozy in motion to the left and they get it to doozy to the five inside the one yard line but you treat this as third and goal Weissman back in hammers his way to the three yard line and this is what I like because this hit the ball at least the first down. Weissman to the goal line. Very close. That's a that's interesting not a very, spot. Very favorable spot. And Missouri State holds. Wow. So back up in their own territory. The Hawkeye fans coming alive, and Harris watched the throw. Incomplete. This game, so they have to try to throw those short passes to give themselves some room from the goal line. 99 yards to go. Harris with time. Now it rolls. He escapes. And look at Kiara. Harris get up to the eight-yard line. They're down. Hitchens blitzing. They dump it off. What a great play by Loudermilk. He was one-on-one. -on -one. If he gets by Loudermilk, standing at his 45, awaiting the punt, he'll have a chance to return it. To the 32-yard line, outstanding field position. Go State tonight on BTN and BTN to go. Go to btn.com slash gamefinder to see the game available in your region.
Here is Iowa running the football. Bullock around the right sideline. Healthy gain to the 25 to 26 today. Back to Bullock. And Bullock very close to a first down. Needs to get to the 22. Really doing a nice job going sideways. Holding their blocks. And linebackers and safeties, especially the back end guys, really filling well in the run game. They had a lot of starters returning from last year's team, and now they will run the football again to Jordan Canseri. They saw have their backs to the goal line. They swing it out to the right. Don Schumper gets a block to the 10 yard line, has a first down. And look how quickly Iowa got lined up, and they will run to the right. It was interesting because. Weissman back in, 95 yards rushing. He'll get the call to carry to the five, to the end zone. Touchdown, Mark Weissman. Excellent job up front. Brett Van Sloat, Jordan Walsh, the right side of that offensive line, the beefy side of that line, really doing a good job. Hat on hat up front. Just a zone read from the back end with the quarterback, Jake Rudock. Gets a little chicken wing on the blitzing corner. Just enough to open up the gap for Weissman for the score. Weissman with over a thousand. Organized there by Mark Weissman getting downhill fast for the score. Burton on the return. He has a seat and finally knocked down near mid. Illegal low block. Number 41 of the kicking team. 15 yards added on to the end of the run. First down. Well, that's a low block, and it's kind of to some extent and going low into the block. It's first and 10. They run to the left, and another flag will go down. Chop block. Offense. Number 19. 15-yard penalty. Replay first down. Gannon Sinclair came on the sideline, wanted to become a Hawkeye, but they did not offer him a scholarship as he played quarterback at West Des Moines High School. Another good gain here. I mean, that really had a fine coaching career. Play action, blitz is on, and they've got to throw it away. He had pins right now in the middle, but he's been blitzing both from the edge and from the middle. And here he comes along with Morris. Harris going deep, incomplete. Tackled. Holding, offense, number 60. Penalties decline, brings up fourth down. Robert Booker. Martin Manley's gonna let it go, and a wise decision as they'll take it at their own 20-yard line. Advisors. Iowa back ready to play, going to the air, downfield, wide open, and look at this, a catch is made by George King. Downfield in stride for the big play for the Hawks. That completely caught them by surprise. Now a nice move by Weissman to get pace offense, no huddle. They have over 180 yards rushing, averaging five yards per carry. Weissman with over 100. And he bulldozes forward. He needed to get to the tools. That means the offense is getting big plays. The true freshman is back in, LaShawn Daniels, and he'll get the call and the carry inside the 20-yard line. For the Hawkeyes in my days with the Chiefs, I absolutely loved run blocking downfield and crack backing on safeties and linebackers. Good run by Daniels, very close to a first down. Needed to get to the third. Able to pick your gap right there. Good push up front by the offensive line. And because it's third and short, I don't think the guys were set. It should be a first down, but the guys were not set, and I believe it'll be false start offense, number 82. What he said. Yep. Third down. And that happened third and long, six. Too many mistakes, eight penalties. Rudolph back to the end. Over the middle has Fedorowicz for the first down to the five. There's a weapon that they need to use more often. Last week, he only had two catches, one touchdown. Have to get that big man the ball more often. Weissman to the three. Well, that was Damon Bullock. Over 115 rushing already. The fullback is Pleva. Weissman, big hole, touchdown!
excellent job by the Hawkeye lineman. Good job of pace and tempo by Rudock at quarterback. Resets the line. Lead block by Ray Hamilton. Plua as well at the fullback position. Good push up front by Van Sloten and Walsh. Opens up just enough of a crease for Weissman and the score. You talked about the offensive linemen loving to run block, and they took a great deal of joy. In they have a knack for staying close. There are going to be times when they lose those games and times when they win. There's a flag down, but you're right. Looks like holding. it's holding. Offense, number 72. Ten-yard penalty. Replay first down. That's Mike Cannon, the referee of Harris. <laughs> Wide open for a first down is Julian Burton was near 90 but on the field well over 100 and you wonder if it's well over 100 on the field again today. Hitchens blitzing Harris with time now it erodes. He escapes. And this part right there. After the runners out of bounds personal foul late hit defense 15 yard penalty automatic first down. But the penalty Hurts them. Missouri State trying to hit the scoreboard and a fine defensive play by Hitchens. Runs to clean up. They've suffered nine penalties for a total of 75 yards. Harris rifles the pass incomplete. Intended for, if you drop it, you're still going to get hit. Exactly. Might as well make a big play. I remember getting a bruised kidney in high school by making a play across the middle. That's what they made doctors for. There's a good tackle there. Hitchens showing blitz and they're running they complete the pass for the first down louder milk on the and he continues his inside play the sophomore from the state of Maryland back at that tackle spot Harris looking to throw down the sideline man open touchdown Missouri State Julian Burton his first score of the year. Julian Burton beats the freshman Desmond King one-on-one -on, -one on outside coverage. Good throw and catch by Kiara Harris. Slot up top, just runs a stop and go. King jumps on it, peeks in just a bit and can't catch up to Burton down the sideline. As a wide receiver, that's what you'd love to see is the corner trying to read and jump routes by reading the quarterback and good play call right there. Execution as well. And that is under the radar for a lot of schools, but will be a, a great talent for the Hawkeyes. Rudock has his pass intercepted and it will be returned for the touchdown. Reed Bentley. Outstanding athletic play by Reek Bentley, the six foot, 210 pound redshirt freshman, starts his pursuit upfield to the quarterback and just folds back in, reads the eyes, reads the route. Good presence of mind, knows exactly where it tips the ball to himself and scampers off for the touchdown. Extremely athletic play for the redshirt freshman outside linebacker. And I'm here in Iowa City, and he's a big reason. Missouri State is even playing Iowa. Point after touchdown is good. It's 21-14. He will take it two yards deep and bring it out. And find a seam. Out past the 35-yard line. 31-24. Missouri State, though, has lost seven in a row to teams from Iowa. And Weissman, now they're saying, oh, has been uh, obviously a record in itself, the biggest one. I believe was Eastern Washington beating Oregon State and then obviously you and I beat Iowa State next week next week Iowa will be at Iowa State flasher Weissman their power back and they'll run Hamilton in motion instead Rudock's gonna throw and he's looking for Hamilton who is covered well Tight end on the right side. Bullock. Another good hit. 
And it was cheap. The case when the ball carrier is running downhill in that fashion, no crown of the helmet hit. On third and seven, Martin Manley leans forward, and I think he got the first down. And back in. A gain of about three for Beisel and Picaretto. Sam and Will are relatively small, but they're mobile and they can move and know how to shed blockers. Weissman trying to get to the outside and does and dives forward for the Weissman. His career high is 217 last year against Central Michigan. So they try the power again up the middle. So back to back. That's one of those deals. Remember the old Batman show when they, were, they used to have those bubbles pop up? To the one. Excited for in the meeting room when you're watching film on Sunday. They mark Bullock down at the two. Weissman back in, double tight end. Play action pass. Rudolph may run it. He will. His second touchdown of the day. He had options right there. Nice job. Good safe choice by Jake Rudolph, but he had C.J. Fedorowicz wide open in the back of the end zone. Excellent play calling by Greg Davis. Fools the entire front for the Bears. And just scampers in again for the touchdown. It's a wide receiver. If you're wide open, you hope to get that ball. But a nice job managing this offense by Rudock. Only three points in the second half. And what you're seeing now is that he has a great ability to leave the history in the history and in the past and be able to bounce back and live right now in the present. LaMarcus Stewart gets to the sideline and banged out of bounds near the 35. After the play was over, personal foul, late hit out of bounds, 17 of the kicking team, 15-yard penalty from the end of the run, first down. Jacob in fair territory in baseball terms, just sees him still on the field to play and you make a hit, I just think that that should be, not should be a black and white type of penalty. Burton with the cap. Like you said, North Dakota State, two national championships, big upset at K-State last week. Quality football that goes on in the Missouri Valley Conference against the FBS opponents. Iowa brings an extra defender on the rush. They what we were taught with uh, Coach Bill Snyder early in my career here as a Hawkeye, and then Don Patterson afterwards, and obviously the great Coach Hayden Fry, you take what the team gives you and then pick your shots downfield. Phoenix Johnson, first throw that was intercepted and run back for a touchdown. Harris will pull it down and run for, well, he close to the first down. The mark will be important. Saturday night next week. And I think Paul Rhodes is a terrific coach. Does a marvelous job, and he will be hosting the Hawkeyes next week in Ames. Down for Missouri State. Johnson, number 11, stays in the game as the running back. Harris wants to throw, loops it end zone, incomplete. Good coverage. Four man rush by the Hawkeyes. Harris down the middle, intercepted. Tanner Miller, the free safety. Excellent job. The fifth interception of his career. The senior leader, six foot two, 207. Free safety. Comes up with the big play. Just reads the eyes of Kiara Harris right there. Good coverage on the back end. Could have been some contact, but he makes the play on the ball. Nice job right there. He has over 155 tackles coming into the season. And now Weissman tries the middle, and Weissman. Rudock will give it to Weissman again. This time, a whole host of Bears is there to greet him. Go against him. I also stand corrected, Steve. I said that Missouri State used their second timeout. Actually, Iowa used their first timeout. Both teams have two left. Underneath it goes to Martin Manley for the first down. In the slot, he is very comfortable in the middle of line, in that middle position against linebackers and safeties. Bullock. Taken down by Martin Montgomery and Anthony. Have to give a lot of credit to Terry Allen and this Bears program because they did not give up. 
Well, there's another fine defensive play. And pros because they try to avoid the black pellets getting up in their eyes. Blitz on, Rudock going deep, incomplete. He had two receivers in the physical leagues in college football, and they've matched them. Burton dropped it, picked it up, and is tackled back near his 15. 59 through 1975, in addition to serving as an assistant on the Hawkeyes football staff. You talk about a great story, and they said, come play football, too. And he winds up starting both ways on offense and defense. Great story. Harris escapes, and he'll run and be cut down near the 20. Louder milk on the, the Hawkeye fans, and in this environment, we still can play football and compete with the best of them. Morris came blitzing from the edge, and this week against the Huskies, other teams are scouting their uh, their approach as well. I'm sure the Cyclones are in preparation for next week's game. Cure the snap is the number one thing he should be thinking about first and foremost. Weissman. Mark Weissman back. Canavan was there. Rudog lets the clock wind down. Managing it right now is so important. And they run Weissman up the middle and he gets about four, maybe five. So he's over. If you want to ensure you get a yes, do it at a football game in front of 60 plus thousand people. You might get the no later, but you're going to get the yes on TV. Rudock on the keeper gets the first down and gets to midfield and then a late flag. Trying to direct some traffic. Holding offense, number 86. Ten yards from the spot of the foul. Replay third down. C.J. Fedorowicz out in space. They can only get better. They absolutely controlled the clock today. 55 carries. This is number 56. And look at Weissman go. He is past midfield all the way to the 35-yard line. Downs for Mark Weissman. And now they'll go to one knee and put the Jerry and Howard in our Chicago studio for the State Farm postgame show. Guys.